This is the BBC Home Service. <laughs> the BBC Home Service. Ah, well, we present the happy-go-lucky, crazy, zany, wacky, Goon Show! <clears throat> In all its gracious, silent dignity, we present the Coon Show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that great and moving music leads us automatically to tram cars. On April the 5th, 1952, London's last tram rolled into the depot. Here to celebrate that occasion is a special radio documentary entitled The Last Tram. And as I stand here on the great pavement, there goes the last tram. That was the last tram. Those taking part were the mayor of Westminster and the councillors. <laughs> and Adam Eagle led the Chelsea pensioners. <laughs> also taking part were the last tram driver, Norris Lurker, and the conductress, Madge uh, Thund, leader, Paul Beard. <laughs> Produced by Menace Strain Bullshine, script by William Shakespeare, <laughs> edited by Jimmy Grafton, additional dialogue by Geraldo, the hotel bill was by Gilbert Hardy. to have a little time in hand before the next program. So here once again is the name of the last tram driver. It is Norris Lurker. In case any of you want to write it down, it's spelt N-O-R-R-I-S-L-U-R-K-E-R. <coughs> the, um, oh yes, the last tram was a 53A. 53A. F-I-F-T-Y. T-H-R-E-E-A-Y-E. -E. Listeners, this man is a fool. The last tram was not a 53A. The last tram was yet to come. The drama of its revelation started with an ordinary 49 and sixpenny phone call.
answer that phone. <laughs> right. Hello. It's for you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Right. Hello? London Pleasure Transport Board. Transport House, Redundant Tram Department, Inspector Ned Siegel speaking. <laughs> what? Nonsense, goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Clench! Uh, did you so much as call me, sir? <laughs> yes. Take your tongue off my boot. Oh, no. <laughs> Some fool just phoned up and said there's still a tram at large in the Highgate Kingsway route. Oh, but that is impossible, sir. All trams have been melted down and made into melted down trams. <laughs> Everyone? All except the one you're living in, sir. Wait. Wait, look. The tram map on the wall. There's still one flag pin stuck in it. Good heavens. I had never noticed it before, sir. What does it mean? It means, sir, that there is a tram still running. According to the flag, it is a number 33. When did he leave the depot? 1952. He's running late? <laughs> He's running terribly late. Yes. <laughs> I've got to check on this. Is my official car ready? Yes, he's finished your shopping, sir. <laughs> I'll be here in just one moment now. Splendid. Oh. Ere the night is out, I'll have this number 33 in the sheds and quietly melt it down. <laughs> we don't want scandal, you know. Oh. Uh, your car's ready, sir. Thank you, Gladys. <laughs> now, come along, drive along the old 33 route and hurry, man. Right. Hold tight. Get up there. <laughs> She's running well tonight. <laughs> yeah, considering we've got a load of ashes on board. Yes. <laughs> Get up there. Take it easy, you mad fool. You want to kill us both? <laughs> no, only you. Good. Stop here, Gladys. I want to go down to the Kingsway subway. Now, you meet me at the other side. I'll go on foot. In fact, I'll go on both feet. <laughs> The old Kingsway tram tunnel. Inside, it was pitch black and dark as well. To make it worse, there were no lights on. <laughs> Luckily, the tunnel was only 20 yards wide, so Ned Sigun was able to stretch out his arms and feel his way along both sides. Yes. Yes, it was very dark. Luckily, I had remembered a 200-foot candle I had in my trouser pocket. <laughs> Putting in a fresh battery, I lit it. And there, in the candlelight, gleaming in the darkness, was the hulk of a long-forgotten tram. On the side, I could see the number. Thirty-three. Carefully, I climbed aboard the rusty platform. You can't get on here. It's not a request stop. <laughs> Good heavens! Good heavens, driver Henry Crown. Uh, yes, yes. It was you who phoned. Ah. Now, look here, Crun. This, this tram should have been on the scrap heap two and a half years ago. My 33 on the scrap heap? Never, never. Pickle poo. <laughs> never, not until you afford us our just dues. And this is the last tram ceremony I'm talking about in the marble clock presentation that it's I never had. Possible driver. No, no. no, look here. The last tram ceremony is over and done with, them, and Norris Lurker has been presented with the marble clock. Now, now, come along. No, no, Let's no, sneak no, old no, 33 no. quietly back to the sheds, no, eh? No, no, no. <laughs> Henry! Who's that down there? A civil servant, Minnie. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Timmy Barry, stop! What? Come down off the top deck! I can't! Why not? I'm smoking! <laughs> It's truffins from the tram depot, buddy. Well, I must ask you both to get off this tram. Ah! I command you! Yes, <laughs> Abandon my lovely tram in mid route? Never! I must think of my passenger. Mr. Cran, you've been down here two and a half years now. <laughs> Who would be idiot enough to be passenger all that time? Oh, <laughs> Oh, 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 let me know when we get to my, my stop at Kingsway, won't you? Come <laughs> along, get off you. What, what, what? Me off? Do you know? Do you know who you're talking to? Who? You've heard of the Duke of Norfolk? Yes. Well, I'm Eccles. <laughs> Eccles? Yep. 
Are you related to the Duke of Norfolk? No, but I had you worried for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you had the Duke worried for a moment, too. <laughs> now, come along, off you get. But I booked the Kingsway. There's my ticket. He's booked at Kingsway, yes. Curse, he's within his rights. Driver Crown, you'll have to drive this man to his destination. Not unless you promise us the last tram ceremony. <laughs> and the marble clock. This is mutiny! Oh, this is going to, this is going to lose me my job, you know. It's going to be in a royal commission, and I'll, yes. I'll have to speak to the governors, that's all. Yes. Meantime, here is driver Max Gildry to play a 34 trolley bus. <laughs> of the Country and Town Planning Society. Next item. Blocks of flats to be built on the site of the old Kingsway tram subway. Brother! Yes. Of the 10,000 tenders, I have given the contract to F. Bog and Company. Isn't that, uh, isn't that your wife's brother? <clears throat> Any more questions? <laughs> Good. Now then, what I want to see... Gentlemen! <laughs> Stop the meeting! What's going on here? You, here? you can't do this. You have to burst in here. If you must burst, please do it in a convenient place. <laughs> Ying Tong in Lai Pao! Good! <laughs> My name is Ned Sigun. Oh, yes, the horror comic. <laughs> I'm chief of the redundant trams department. I have grave news for you all. You can't build the flats on the Kingsway subway. Can't build? But I've already had the dropsy from the... <clears throat> <laughs> um, why not? There's a 33 tram down there. Well, get it out. I want to. I, I've got to. But, but this crew refused to drive it until they had afforded another last tram ceremony. <laughs> another ceremony? Dear, dear... <laughs> There's all the women three I said them them flats them flats have got to go up because I, 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 I can't sleep in the night park any longer. <laughs> They've got to go up. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sigun, we'll do this tram ceremony, but secretly and on the cheap. We don't want any questions asked. Right. This man does all functions at half price. Here's his card. Let me see. Oh, Major Bloodnock. <laughs> There, Moriarty. I'll pay pontoons only. Pontoons only? We're playing chess. <laughs> I thought the cards were a funny shape. 
the police! Blood, look, there are other people. Not in my life. Good evening. I'm, uh, I'm looking for Major Dennis Bloodlock. <laughs> He's upstairs, dangerously ill. Who are you? I am his identical twin brother, Fred. Pity. I had a paid job for him. <laughs> I'll go upstairs and see if he's better. Ah! My identical twin brother, Fred, has just told me you wish to see me. <laughs> now to business. We want you to... We want you to do Cut Price Lord Mayor as the last tram ceremony. It must be hush-hush or there'd be questions asked, and I'll get the sack. If Shield like. lips, blood knock. Now, what's the... Ten um, pounds. Ten? <laughs> Mariotti, phone the mansion house. No. Oh. Remember, it's all very hush-hush, so be there at 8.45 tomorrow night at Kingsway Tram Subway. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Mariotti, are you through yet? Just a minute. Hello. 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 Mansion house? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Lord Mayor? Who else? <laughs> Listen, Gus. We want to borrow the Lord Mayor's robes for tomorrow. Oh, well. Let me have them right back after. Only Sir Winston wants to borrow them for a fancy dress ball, you see. <laughs> well, I've got to go now. Someone wants an air cut. During that phone conversation, how many of you noticed that Seagood had gone down into the subway again? Hmm? You must watch these points. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cron. We've arranged the last tram ceremony. Tonight at 8.45 in 15 minutes' time. Oh. Minnie, take the beds down. I can't. Why not? I just got in. Well, stay in bed now you're there. Just bring my bed down. <laughs> which, which one is yours, Hen- Henry? The one I'm not in, Min. <laughs> Which one is that? The one I'm not in, Min. But, but you're, you're not in either bed, Henry. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Dennison and Elsie Gray. <laughs> now, come along. Drive this tram out of here. I can't. There's no electricity. The turned off it on the main. Oh, good heavens. Car. I have to account for that tram. Oh, I'll have to go and get the electricity laid on. Meantime, here's old steam-driven Ray Ellington and his lurgy ridden full. Ladies and gentlemen, take your partners for a waltz. Hey, wait a minute. Now, just a minute, fellas. What are you playing? What's going on? Three, four, waltz. That's a waltz? Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, take your partners for a tango. Yeah, this is a crazy tango, isn't it? These boys think I'm a fool, you know. They think I don't know the difference between a waltz and a tango. Well, do you? I've got news for you. No. I can't tell a waltz from a tango. I never know what my feet are gonna do. I can't tell the words from a tango, darling. When I dance with you, he Partners for the lancers. Mm. I can't tell a waltz from a tango. I never know what my feet are going to do. I can't tell a waltz from a tango. Darling, I want to dance with you. Yes! If this is love, it's new to me. Oh, won't you give some clue to me? I don't know what you do to me. I seem to lose my sense of rhythm when your cheek is next to mine. I can't tell a waltz from a bebop. I never knew what my feet are going to do. I can't tell a waltz from a man boo. Darling, I want to dance with you. I'm a man left, I'm a man right, and goodbye. I can't 
tell a horse from a tango I never know what my feet are gonna do I can't tell a horse from a tango Darling, when I dance with you I know the dance step's old and new I've even won a prize or two And when I steal a kiss from you I seem to lose my sense of rhythm When your cheek is next to mine I can't tell a horse from a tango I never know what my feet are gonna do I can't tell a horse from a tango Darling, when I dance with you Darling, when I dance with you Darling, when I dance with you Thank you, thank you. Oh, while Mr. Ellington was singing that number, how many of you noticed that Seagoon had gone to the country and town planners, eh? You must watch it, you know. The is rusted to the rails and cannot be moved until the electricity is through. Well, we shall have to build over it, that's all. Well, no, now, you can't do that. I'd lose my job. I've got to account for all the trams, you know. I mean, it's... Oh, sorry, Landy. Job. I'm sorry. My job is to build those flats on Kingsway Subway. And we I... must start building all the bricks will start to perish. But you can't. Look. Yes, look, it's up to you to get your tram out of there before the tunnel is sealed up. What? What? Before the tunnel is sealed up, I, 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 I must hurry <laughs> Meantime, at the London Passenger Transport Board, Redundant Tram Depot, Section 3. Where's that double-crossing seagoon? I'll give him last tram ceremony, I'll... I'm me, I am his secretary, sir. Where's his dufter? His dufter is in there. Out of the way. way. Now, seagoon, I've been at the subway entrance in me robes all night waiting for that blasted tram to come out. <laughs> You're a no-good, low-down, jumped-up, never-come-down, naughty man. <laughs> and I'd call you worse if it wasn't for the fact that you're not here. <laughs> ah, what's this on his desk? A nice little pretty cat box. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. How dare you accuse me of stealing from the pretty cat box? <laughs> I'm the new boy, sir. I've just brought the departmental radio. I'm not interested in the departmental uh, Leave them here, lad. You just get a sign here for the greatest of pleasure. Ned Seagoon. There. How much did you say was here? 20,000 pounds. No, oh, no, no. I wonder where Neddy is. Ned, dear listener, was struggling to get the electricity to the trams, but I needed assistance. I heard you call me my Kevin <laughs> Enter blue bottle. Gives thing on tram conductor's set. Pauses for audience sausages, not a clapper in the house. <laughs> Thinks this is a good start. Dear little skin and bone Hercules, you came in the nick of time. No, I did not. I came in the council desk car. <laughs> Points to portions of old fish bones still stuck the seat of trousers. <laughs> Sharp bones. <laughs> Little dirty pipe cleaner legs. Take these electricity cables down the subway. I will do it, my gibby thing. I will. Carefully puts her a comic in secret pocket. Picks up electric cables. Farewell, my... Gibby thing. What, lad? Gibby thing. You would not turn the dreaded electric six six on while little blue button is still holding the wire. You would not do that to your little blue button, would you, Captain? I give you my word as a Chinese gentleman. <laughs> I know my little Chinese captain would not lie to me. Enters tunnel. Does dignified slow walk as done by Ellen Ladd in the Black Knight. <laughs> But effect is ruined by fish bones still hanging on trousers. Where's that lad going? Oh, hello, Mr. Workman. What are you doing down here? This is a good game, isn't it? <laughs> you can't hang about here with work, and you can't. Uh, you, you, I went down here, the working hour works, and it's not right, isn't that? I mean, no. Yeah. That is a rude, naughty sign. 
moves away from rough, naughty workmen. Go on, be off, or I'll bang you with a shovel. I don't know what's going on here, I don't. Chuck! What's it, me darling boy? <laughs> Connect up the electricity. Darling boy, it is not on. It's not true, darling. Ooh, these flats will need lighting, you uh, know. There should be a couple of thousand volts through. Throw the switch and it will. <laughs> Enough. I shouldn't be down here while we're building. Now clear out before I fetch you one with a shovel. I should tell my teacher Miss Cringing draws about you. <laughs> and Will, you just wait till she gives me back my cardboard atomic ray gun. You will ride in agony as the radioactive particles enter through your sky. You ask for that? So have you. <laughs> I have revenged the honour of the blue buttules. Exits left in blackened rags, flattened bunts, loose knees and spare shins in satchels. <laughs> Victory! Hole! Exits left on Corporation Sewage Cup. Boom! I don't know what's going on down here. I'll tell you that for nothing. I'll... Pardon me, I'm from the BBC. <laughs> Ooh! That's for the TV programs you give us. <laughs> you rotten devil, you. You hitted poor little Wallace Greenslade with the shovel, nearly deading me. Points to lump on crust, toot, toot, toot. Greenslade, you swan, you. You're pinching my lovely little act. I'll get you a playtime with Terry. Uh, tell me, Dad. What's going on, girl? Oh, sir, the BBC has just heard about the new last tram ceremony and would like to broadcast. No, no, you mustn't. It, 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 it's supposed to be secret. Oh, don't worry. No one will hear it, sir. It's on the home service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank heaven for that. Right, well, you'll, you'll find all the reception committee waiting at the far end of the tunnel. Now, I'll go down and get Mr. Crumb going. <laughs> Just thought you'd like to hear it again. <laughs> Are you all packed, Minnie? Yes, I'm in my box, Henry. <laughs> I'll just put the lid on. Uh, hey, Mr. Cran! Hit him! <laughs> Give me that shovel. Now, look here. The electricity's on, so start driving it out. We've only got five minutes to get the ceremony over before the builders seal the tunnel. Oh, good. Don't forget to put me over at the Kingsway, because when I get there, I've got, I've got a lot of things to do there. Oh! <laughs> now shut up! How tight! Stop, stop, stop! Mr. Seagoon, Mr. Seagoon, there's no one at the entrance of the subway at all. No, no, no last tram reception committee? No, no. It is! Oh. Look here! Committee on no committee on driving this tram out. Jump on Green Slade! Jump on second the... thoughts, jump on the tram! <laughs> Seagoon's the master. Your Seagoon? I think I should mention that there's a black Mariah at the entrance waiting for you. Why? Absconding with the departmental wages. Stop the tram! Cran, how do you stop the tram? Stop the tram! 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 Stop